How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today's video is going to be really cool. I'm going to show you a 450 John Deere in action. It's plowing some fire lanes. You can see behind me here, we actually had uh, access to a, a fire that got out of control in an area down below the house. And so what we're doing is we're going to try to show you how the John Deere actually uses its blade to, to, to blaze a trail to help to keep that fire from jumping from this piece of property to the next piece of property. This is what it does right here, and I'm going to show you bits and pieces of it. Now, unfortunately, we don't have like big blazing fire and all this stuff because they've already got the big stuff put out. And plus, we didn't want to be there interfering with their work. It's not safe if we do that. But you can see here, this is how they actually go in between the you can see the the nice trees and the nice property here and then and the not so nice fire damaged uh, land over here and in between is what they've done with that John Deere 450 let me tell you some clips of that Make sure that the fire don't jump from over there, back over there at the stuff that ain't burnt yet. So what they're doing is just plowing, plowing new roads basically. They used to plow fire lines, but now they just push everything out of the way. You can see it's pretty charred out in this area here. Let's watch this 450J do some work. that we done putting tracks on the John Deere 450. That one's a little nicer. It's a little newer than the one we actually got. John Deere 450J LGP. Low ground pressure, maybe? You can really tell a difference in the new tracks versus old tracks. The old tracks are, I mean, the cleats on them are like this. It's got nice tracks on this one. The cleats are really tall, they grab better. So this John Deere does a lot better than the old, old broke down one we got back at the house. Looking at the inside of this 450J, on the left side you've got your forward and reverse here, and then this is your kind of your speed control from there. You got your left and right. There's your throttle control as well. And on the right side you got your blade control. You can move your tilt it left and right. Uh, ma manipulate it left and right up and down uh, so this is the right side of the control here and on the bottom here you have your decelerator on your right foot there and this is the instrument panel it's a really really nice tractor it's got a um, radio in it it's got a really cold air conditioning system in it so it's a really really nice tractor
still got a piece of smoldering wood there. You guys need to be real careful when you been out of the woods, man. You'd hate to start a forest fire. I mean, this this forest fire burnt 300 something acres unintentionally. So no good. You know, put everybody at danger, and it's just not good. So be careful when you're out in the woods. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some pictures that we took with the drone. And you guys know I've, I've had this drone for like two videos now, so I'm still trying to learn it. It may or may not have crashed uh, in this next clip. Okay, you guys stick around and watch it. done with those big old bulldozers man hey click right here and you can click subscribe and that will take you to our subscribe page underneath it is a video of the 450 that we put tracks on go watch that one it's a pretty cool video we'll catch you on the next one you guys take care